Hi everyone, welcome to the Practical C Sharp video series. In this video, I'd like to show you uh, how to use the external alias in C Sharp. Uh, I have a console application that is referencing uh, another library. They are both running uh, using .NET 3.5. This uh, uh, program basically creates a task that sleeps for one second and returns uh, a string. Then I create a, <clears throat> an instance of a content loader that pass that requires a lazy object that start the task and return the result. And then we print the result of calling load content to the console. This content loader type is defined in another uh, project uh, in the old library and simply take the lazy object and then when you call load, load content, basically return a string uh, accessing the value of the lazy type. The specifics of the implementation doesn't really matter in the context of this video. What I would like to show you is um, a scenario where um, I need to upgrade the project, practical C -sharp project to the latest version of the net, and uh, there will be a conflict involved. Before doing that, I want to show you that in the packages console that this project is referencing the task parallel library, that is a back port of the task parallel library to the .NET 3.5. And that's basically where the, the object task and content loader are defined. Okay, let's try to do the upgrade and see what happens. I go to the project and I update to 462. All right, then I get back to the program and I notice that there are two compilation errors. It's saying that the type task the result exists in both system threading version 1.0. blah 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 and in MS Code Lib. This, because, this is because the .NET Framework 4 contains the task parallel library in MS Core Lib, but we are still referencing the task parallel library, so there is a conflict. The compiler doesn't know what type to, which type to use. There is no way we can, we can fix that without using a using statement, because the types actually have exactly the same fully qualified name. So how can we resolve the issue? If you go to the references, System threading is what task parallel library defined. I press F4, I can go to the aliases and specify an alias for the system threading using, for example, TPL. So as soon as I do that, <clears throat> you will notice that this compiles, this works. Uh, and the reason is because now task is using the MS Lib version of task because the other task parallel version requires to use the alias in order to access it. And as you can see here, it's saying that I can convert system lazy string defined in the MS Core lib to the task parallel library type equivalent. And here the compiler basically say that it's not able to cast a lazy type to the actual task parallel library. We have to use the hold task parallel library lazy type because the um, we are using an external object defining an external library that is still using the old lazy version so we are forced to use an alias here how can we resolve that we can actually use the extend alias keywords in c sharp and say tpl that's the, the same value that we set previously now we need to specify this uh, alias here and saying TPL, and unfortunately we need to be fully qualified. We need to specify exactly the full path, uh, capital S here, system. And there we go. Now it compiles. And if I run it, it should pretty much work. <clears throat> so what we, what we did here is we used the external alias keywords to create a new root level namespace so that we can tell the compiler which types to use when uh, we are in the situation that where we have uh, two types that have the same fully qualified name referenced in the same project. It's really, really difficult that you find yourself in this situation, but this, for example, is a practical scenario where you this might happen. And there are other cases where this could happen. And you can define as many external analysis as you want. Obviously, it's not something you would do Usually, but it's very useful to, to know this trick when you really need it. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with uh, C-Sharp and uh, uh, all the related content. Thank you for watching.